It's a pesky virus that affects two-thirds of the world population, but now USC researchers are turning the herpes simplex virus into an effective cancer fighter. Circle of Health reporter Denise Dador introduces us to a skin cancer patient who's getting a second chance thanks to this new treatment. It's so much better than what it was before. A few years ago, that bump on the back of Jim Day's neck was the first sign of a malignant melanoma. It had spread to his brain. Stage four melanoma. Uh, my brother's a doctor. When I called him and told him what I had, um, he said, you'll be dead in six months. Come stay with me. But Jim didn't give up. Surgeons removed the brain tumor and he underwent conventional immunotherapy. But after a while, it stopped working. We know it only works about half the time. The melanoma had spread all over Jim's body. That's when USC oncologist Dr. Gino In enrolled him in a unique clinical trial where doctors inject a genetically engineered herpes virus plus immunotherapy directly into cancerous tumors. Once the virus enters the tumor, it starts growing within the tumor cells, and then it actually causes the tumor cells to burst. So it's directly killing them that way. The treatment called RP1 is being studied in patients who failed other immunotherapies. It started working on Jim immediately. By the time we got to the second set, I was down to maybe three tumors. The virus trains your immune system to seek out and destroy cancer wherever it is. In the study, some patients saw that their tumors disappeared completely, and other patients saw that their tumors not injected with RP1 also benefited from the therapy. We know that 75% of them are still alive at one year and 55% are still alive at three years. Nearly all of Jim's lesions have melted away, except for one. So hopefully we've helped his immune system become stronger, and hopefully his prognosis is, is better than it would have been otherwise. Side effects may include some cold or flu-like symptoms. Keck Medicine of USC is looking to enroll 400 more melanoma patients in phase three trials. Jim's grateful to be part of it. I mean, I wake up every morning like going, I'm alive, I can't believe it, it's like fantastic. In Los Angeles, Denise Dador, ABC7, Eyewitness News.